Hello and welcome back to the channel. This video is gonna be a bit different than usual. I've just cut out all of my online friends, removed them from Discord, locked out of my Discord account, left every server, and deleted every video game on my PC. And the reason for that is that I used to be like them. I used to play video games eight hours a day. I used to watch porn, I used to watch anime, I used to watch movies every night, I used to do nothing productive with my life, eat junk food, not work out, like I said, porn addicted. And those friends, they're all great people. And they give me a lot of joy and happiness and sometimes good advice, but that's about it. And I'm feeling kind of sad that I've cut them out of my life, but I think I know it's the right decision. It's very extreme to just cut all of, all of, all of your friends out of your life, just like that. And I did it. And the reason for that is, yeah. I'm not on the level anymore and it sounds arrogant as fuck but I have changed my views, I have changed my life, I have changed my habits, my values, what I think, how I think about life, what I think about political views, how I think about everything, I've completely changed it so I can become successful that I'm not falling into the trap that everyone else is falling in that I'm trying to fight against the modern addictions, porn, social media, video games. And they're holding me back. I'm telling them my opinions on certain topics and different views that I have. For example, on masculine and feminine energy, I say that we need men and female I say that men can do something better than females can, and females can do something better than men can. That's just nature, it's biological. Society wants to push up us all in the middle, but that doesn't, that's not how it works. And I refuse to believe that. I know what's right for me, I can feel it inside of me, I can feel the right decision. Everyone that I'm listening to, everyone that I'm taking advice from, is highly successful, they all believe what no one else believes. That's the reason why it's successful. And I want to become successful and I am going to become successful. But I can't become successful if people are holding me back, saying that my views are bad, that I'm misogynistic, even though I support women, I love women, and she have a girlfriend that I love so much. And the reason why my relationship to her is really fucking great. It's because I've read a fucking book called The Way of the Superior Man, and that literally explains masculine and feminine energy, how to react in certain situations. And the fucking secret to that is be the leader and show her as much love as possible. Treat her like a little child. And this, this sounds fucking stupid, but it fucking works. And I'm sitting here in this fucking chair right now living proof to that. My relationship to my girlfriend is amazing. I love her, she loves me. And like I said, the reason for that is because I read this fucking book and it, it has so controversial fucking topics inside of it. Like treating your girlfriend like your daughter. It sounds weird as fuck. Of course we're not talking about the sexual stuff, not at all. It's literally just about. She needs to, she needs to have someone that she can trust. You have to take care of her. You have to treat her like a little child. You have to say what well, she does good, you have to compliment her, you have to guide, you have to show her the way, you have to give her a hand so she can reach out to you. And that's how it always has been. I'm there to protect her because I love her, not because I'm fucking misogynistic and I hate women. No, it's the fucking opposite. I want to protect her, I want to protect her family, I want to provide. 
That's what men always have done a hundred years ago and even a thousand years ago. But this modern day world is like, oh, society, everyone has to be the same. I'm completely for equality for men and women. Women should not have less rights than men in certain countries. Women should not get paid less, even though the pay gap is a myth, but that's a different topic. It's completely fucking equal. But what doesn't work, what I don't agree with, is that men and women are the same, that they are equal. They should be getting treated equal. They should have the same rights. They should have equal rights, but they're not the same. Different hormones, biological, completely different. And it's just a fact that men, because of testosterone and the way they're built, the way biology works, that they can build more muscle, faster muscle, that they're stronger. And a woman has oxygen and other hormones. They are better in the mother role. They have a better connection to the child. They know how to raise a child. They show more love and intimacy. Women say and think and feel what the feeling in the moment. Men, rational decisions, thinking about the whole picture and then basing the decision on that. And as I saw it yesterday, my girlfriend was upset because I fucked up, because I have my issues. That's also one of the reasons why I cut all of my friends out of my life, because I want to change my life. I don't want to keep living this way. I don't want to keep hurting people that I love. I'm hurting, I hurt my girlfriend. I'm hurting my family. I'm hurting myself because of the problems I have, because of the way I feel, because of the way I act. And I have to change the way I act, the way I feel, the way I treat others. But And I have to level up, I have to become a better version of myself and I can't let those people, even though they are good friends and I have fun with them, I can't let them bring me down, keep me down. I have to change. And like I said, I saw it yesterday, I fucked up, my girlfriend was feeling bad. She looked 30 years older than she usually does. And I could have been angry with her, I could have been angry with myself, I could have analyzed the situation. All I had to do was quickly apologize, then hug her, give her a kiss, tell her that I love her, apologize once more, touch her, give her another kiss, tell her again that I love her, play around with her, make her laugh, make some weird noises, start dancing, start whatever, just show her fucking love. And she instantly looks 30 years younger. She's smiling. Her eyes are lighting up. Her voice sounds beautiful. I'm feeling a lot better. She feels loved. And that's amazing. That's how it should be. Like I said, the only reason why my relationship is so good is because I'm learning how to be masculine and by that I'm automatically pushing her into being more feminine. I'm trying to take charge. I want to take charge. I'm showing love. I'm piercing her with love. I'm everything I have all the fucking time. Every single minute when I'm with her I try to show as much love and safety and guidance and everything as possible. And I love it, and she loves it, and we're happy. Why the fuck does a modern day want to take that away from us? Why does a modern day want, in the relationship, want the man to be, and the woman to be 50-50? I don't understand. The little skinny, weak man who has no decision making, who doesn't do anything productive with his life, who's just watching Netflix all the time, his girlfriend would be disgusted at him. She wouldn't maybe think it or say it out loud, but she would know deep down that this is not the guy that she wants to have kids with. Because what it all comes down to is, is my partner a good partner to have children with? It's all about keeping the, the species alive. If you have a strong partner, a strong, let's say, masculine 
man who has a good looking body, who is successful, who has money, he can provide security and status and is a lot safer than, and the kids will have a lot, a, better, a lot, the kids will have, a, um, uh, how can I say that? The kids will have a much better life with a man like that than with a man who's playing video games all day, who's porn addicted, who's eating junk food, who has no confidence, who can't lead the way, who can't show love. The kids will have a much better life as a successful per when the successful person is a dad. And the same goes for women. When a woman is is loving, caring, taking care of the children, making food for them, showing them love, being there for them, hugging them, the kids will feel much more happy and much better than if there's a woman who's, for example, let's say really um, masculine and kind of how can I say that? Not caring, not loving. Really masculine. And sadly, my mom is like that. My mom's boyfriend, he's a good guy. I really like him, but he's not a very strong masculine man. And I'm missing a father figure in my life. I'm missing, I'm missing a role model in my life. And that's the reason for taking uh, role models in the internet such as Hamza, CEO of the Sosserone, so Jack, or Chris from First Man or Andrew Tate and people like that. I'm taking my my knowledge and influence from their opinions because I believe that's what's right and they're successful. Um, my dad let me down, my mom's boyfriend let me down, and my mom is a more masculine part. And instead of what, what she should give me is love, care, provide, uh, but she's providing for me. She is being masculine to me. She's being horrible to me. And I'm a child who experienced this. Of course, went through divorce, bad parenting. My dad is weak, fat, loser who's playing video games all day. Don't get me wrong, I do love him. But I could never take him as a role model. I do have a connection to him, but it's completely different. <laughs> and like I said, the reasons why I did this extreme decision by cutting them all out of my life is extreme for extreme good life, you have to take extreme decisions. I want to change. I can't stay weak. I have to change for my girlfriend, for myself, for my family, for everyone around me, for my own success, for my own mental being. I can't live with this anxiety. I can't live with bad mental health. And I have to fix it. And if, if that's by cutting out all my online friends who are keeping me down, maybe not intentionally, they're not doing it intentionally, but they're keeping me down, that's what I have to do for my own. You could call it selfish. I don't care. I have to do it. I did it. This is my decision and I'm not going to change it. So yeah, that's the reason why I cut all of my friends out of my life in it. Basically, a second, I didn't even think about it. We had a, I had an argument with a couple of my friends and didn't even think about cutting them out of my life in the next second, I just did it. And a quote that applies to that really well is Action may not always lead to happiness, but there is no happiness without action. <laughs>